I feel like it's a version 1.0 of Genshin Impact again, and it's phenomenal. For those who may have not played back then, allow me to briefly tell you of the game's most powerful bug, the photo mode glitch. A glitch that let you fly anywhere. A glitch that universally removed collision from your character, allowing you to phase through everything that may lie in your path, be it object or terrain. A glitch that was a skeleton key for the game. Wherever photo mode could be used in conjunction with something that could move your character, it could be taken advantage of. Even something as little as a slope that pushes your character. I am more than pleased that this glitch has returned. But with one change, it no longer has the ability to face through terrain or objects. But rather than simply lose that perk, it trades it for a few others. Also, you can still fly forever with it, so that's fun. Let's get into it, shall we? To recreate the photo mode glitch of old, we're going to need water. A lot of water. First, the steps of the glitch. 1. Have your character standing at a height near a body of water, like so. The water must be deep enough to initiate the dive animation while stationary. Alternatively, you can create a platform using GeoTraveler near the shore of any water deep enough to dive into. 2. Jump to initiate a dive, and then immediately open photo mode and select one of the poses except standing. Personally, I think this method is a bit difficult even if using a shortcut wheel. Thankfully, there's an easy way to extend the input window of this glitch by a whole lot. Simply wait for your character to begin their idle animation before jumping to initiate the dive. The window to enter photo mode and select a pose will now be equal to the length of the character's idle animation. Because there are slight differences in the glitch's execution depending on which method you've used, from here on everything will assume you've set up the glitch using an idle animation. Anyways, your character is now ready for launch. So let's talk controlling the glitch and sending your character into the stratosphere. There are a number of ways to do this, each with different results. We'll start with the method that's both most practical and gives the greatest control. It's a method I didn't even think about in all my testing for my Walking to Celestia video. It's always the super simple solutions that escape me, and I blame my tendency to look for or make a challenge out of everything. Whatever the case, Twitter user Remy Hendrix showed me that you can use this glitch at ground level and that walking into tiny slopes on land will send you upwards. To replicate this, set up the glitch as mentioned before, and then, while in photo mode, switch to the standing pose. Your character will start their dive animation, quickly switch back to a different pose. Your character will now be hovering. They may or may not be moving down at a variable speed, a speed that is inversely related to how quickly you switch back to another pose once they began their dive. The quicker you do so, the slower that speed will be. Exit photo mode and you are all set up. Do note that, one, you can only walk forward. Whatever direction you are facing, that's the only direction you can go. Two, bumping into slopes will send your character upwards. 3. If you stand still and your idle animation begins, the glitch will end. If you'd like to stand still while your character ascends, enter photo mode and choose a pose other than standing. Your character is now prevented from doing an idle animation. 4. You can hide your character in photo mode to get awesome scenic shots. 5. If you try jumping, you'll enter a weird gliding sequence in which your gliding animation is overwritten by your walking animation. This ends the glitch. Now you're free to fly around to bat. Awesome. But what if you want to get a bit more creative? Well, you can launch your character in a number of ways. You can hop into co-op and let players use geoconstructs, such as Starfall Sword, Albedo's skill, Shuang Li's... actually not too sure about this one. Every time it was used, my character just slightly moved. But maybe it can work. Speaking of co-op, it's worth noting that other players cannot see you flying around. For them, you'll be standing at wherever the glitch began, but they can influence your trajectory if they'd like to try chasing after an invisible player. They cannot interact with where they see you, but they can interact with you by running into or placing an obstacle in the spot you are on your screen. The only reason this is happening so smoothly is because I'm controlling both accounts and have both screens for reference. If co-op's not your thing, then you can use elevators. Wang Xiuin and Tatarasuna both have elevators near water. 
though you'll have to mess around with finding the right spot on them, as both have obstacles overhead. This corner on Tatarasuna's elevator has never failed me. But maybe you'd like to spice things up by throwing enemies into the mix. That's right, enemies can push you, but they can also hurt you, which ends the glitch. It's tricky. The big samurai foes of Inazuma are of particular note. They have one of the fastest attacks for a normal enemy. What if we could transfer that momentum to our glitch? For this, I'm using the Hida's idle animation in place of photo mode, since photo mode gets interrupted by combat. I use this to finally unlock the teleport waypoints above Seirai Island. Yeah, I'm nearly AR-60 and still haven't done Seirai Storm Chasers. I like the lightning on the island. Shame the boss is inaccessible. I thought it'd be up here, even without the quest. Would have been fun to challenge it while under the health drain effect and constant threat of homing lightning strikes. But what if you really want to send your character blasting off? Surely there's some sort of fast vehicle in the game. Something that can be used to propel them to the heavens in an absolutely not violent way. Indeed, there is definitely... Really. How disappointing. Alright, that wraps up the how. At the start of the video, I mentioned that the glitch had lost one of its strongest abilities, phasing through terrain and objects. That's true. It cannot take you below the map like before. However, it gained a few abilities in trade. The most notable is that the Paimon Barrier cannot stop you, although it can and will pull you in and it'll never let go. But as for how far beyond it you can go, that's only limited by how long you're willing to wait. I let it go for over an hour and ended up far, far off the northwest side of the map. As in, the map couldn't scroll anymore and I was listed as still farther in that direction. Although it did lose the ability to phase through terrain, it retains the ability to go through water. This seems to only work if you start the glitch close enough to water that the game perceives you to be in it. If you try to hover down from, say, the top of the Mondstadt Bridge, it'll end the glitch. But if you do it off the bank below, the game will apply the wet status to you because it thinks you're in the water. Thus, entering water doesn't end the glitch, and you can phase through it. It does have a few other abilities that I'm not listing here, but I'll be showcasing those in future Traveler Sun episodes. And that is the photo mode glitch of version 3.2. It's already slated to be patched, so if you're interested in testing it out, then make haste. To my knowledge, it's the first time it's shown up since version 1.0. But hopefully, even after they patch it, it'll show up again in the future. Or, or, they could just add a free camera mode. Sure, we wouldn't be able to fly around everywhere, but just being able to get cool cinematic shots would be wonderful. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, a like and subscribe is most appreciated. I cover glitches, cool mechanics, and challenges in Genshin Impact quite often. If you happen to be curious about an application of this glitch, I made a video about using it to go to Celestia. And if you're interested in seeing footage from the 1.0 version, I've got a video showcasing that as well. I'll have it linked in the description. This is Musashi, signing off. Till next time!